everybody. In this tutorial today, we're going to talk about how to create your own block and add it to the block library that's inside of this drawing. Okay, so what we have here is we have the cabin drawing and we have some blocks that we had put in from the last tutorial. If I grip them here, you can see their blocks. Um, and we put those in from the design center and they are part of our block library. So let's just take a quick look at the block library and take um, see what we have for blocks in there. So I'm going to come up here to the insert tab on the ribbon and I'm going to go to insert and it brings up this dialog box and if we pull down this arrow here um, it shows us all the blocks that are in our cabin drawing. There's um, quite a few here that aren't necessarily on the drawing um, and they don't have to be on the drawing, but they are all part of this particular drawing files library. Okay, and what I'd really like to do is add a twin bed. And I'm noticing that I don't have a twin bed in my block library. And I also noticed that in the design center there was no twin bed. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create our own twin bed block. Okay, all right, so. What I'm going to do here is I have an example. I'll just zoom in. Uh, this is the end result. This is going to be our objective. And our objective is actually to just draw the bed, the dimensions, and the label here just for reference. Okay. All right. So if I want to do something like that, what I'm going to do is look to see if I have any kind of um, line work that I can copy it from. And this queen size bed would be a great place to start. So I'm going to come back to the Home tab and I'm going to copy this block over to here just so we can get it in our its own space and we can work on it. Okay. So now that I've copied that over here, I'm going to explode this block to get it into its original line work. So I'm going to come up underneath Erase, there's the Explode command. I'm going to pick that and I'm going to pick on the bed and that explodes the bed into its different, um, into its separate pieces and you'll notice that all of this line work here is on layer zero. Okay, so if I grip all that, it shows that it's on layer zero and um, that's actually where you want your line work to be when you create a block. Okay, you want all your line work to be on layer zero so that in the future you can put it on any layer that you want when it's um, turned into a block. Okay. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and start manipulating this to make it into a twin size bed. And what I'm going to do is I'll offset the width of the bed, the three foot three, that way. And I'm going to offset the top line down, six foot three. Okay, so here these two lines will represent the, the bed. All right, and then I'm just going to go to trim and I'm going to get rid of these lines on the left. And then I'm also going to trim these two lines right here. Okay, and we're just going to erase these leftover lines. And there, that's pretty much looking like the twin size bed. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do is center the pillow. And I'm going to do that with a vertical construction line to help me. Okay, so I'm going to go to the move command and I will select the pillow. There it is. And I'm going to come from the midpoint of the pillow to the intersection of that line. Okay, see that intersection right there? There, now we've got it centered. So I'm going to erase the construction line because I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to trim that little extra piece of pillow that was left over. Okay, so here's our twin size bed. And now let's make a block into out of this line work. So I'm going to go back to the insert tab. And there is a button here called create block. Okay, so let's pick on create block. And all we have to do is give it a name. So I'm going to call it twin bed. And then we're going to pick a point for a base point. All right, so I actually did that pick point there. And the base point is the point where the cursor is attached when you bring the block in. Okay, so I'm going to pick the upper left corner as my base point. 
And then this next area here, we have to select objects. So I'm going to pick the select objects button and we're going to select the bed because that's what we want to be a block. Okay. And down here we can retain or we can convert the original line work to a block if we want to. So I'm going to pick that. Um, I'm going to leave allow exploding and everything else that's here is set the way it should be. So I'm going to pick OK. All right. And you'll notice it did convert the original to a block. And if I grip it, it only has the one grip. OK. So I'm going to go back over here to the Home tab. And if we go to our Insert Block pull down, it's also on the Insert tab, you'll notice that Twin Bed is now part of this drawings library. OK? All right. So now with that in place, we can um, put the twin size bed in this bedroom instead. Okay, and we can place that in the corner if we want. Um, and we could even put perhaps a, um, a second bed in here. And I'm just going to copy that from there to there. We'll do them both in the corner. Okay, so you can kind of have fun playing around with that. Um, but anyway, in review, that's how you uh, create a block in AutoCAD inside the and keep it in the drawing that you started in. Okay, I hope that helps. And until the next tutorial, um, give that a try.